Uh, yeah, I mean, um, you know, it's been rough, but um, we made uh, we made some good progress this year. You know, I'm I'm happy where we are right now, and um, you know, I'm just super excited for the future. And kind of removing these last couple of days, what were the last couple of months like where you were you were playing regularly, you were getting a yeah. lot of minutes, playing well, contributing to wins? How was that for you? I mean, considering where uh, where I started the season, you know, where I had to get a surgery and you know I was waived and all that, I was just really glad that I got the opportunity to play. Um, you know, that's all I really wanted to do, you know, just get back out there and just show that, you know, I can play basketball. And um, I'm really glad for the opportunity that I, that was presented. And, um, you know, I just enjoyed every moment on a, on a court, you know. So um, especially after, you know, last year and like I said, beginning of this year, I was just really glad to be out there competing with, with the guys. And, um, you know, it was, it, was, it was just a beautiful moment. What was uh, the com- the conversation with Landry like of when they ultimately decided not to to you know bring you up to the roster and and you know keep you on your current contract uh, yeah. out in the playoffs? Well, I mean, there's a lot of you know difficult decisions that you got to make, and um, you know um, we knew that you know I love we both agreed that you know coaches like me and I lo- I, lo- I love it here and and um, you know so I'm just excited, really excited for the future. Um, you know, we obviously. I uh, obviously want to stay here and um, just keep keep building on. So, um, yeah, like I said, it's just a lot of difficult decisions. You know, you got to be made. But um, you know, like I said, I'm 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 happy where where we at right now, where I'm at right now, and um, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully we can build on it and build for the future. Clint talked about um, kind of like a winning mindset. You felt mm-hmm. consistently was missing. Did you kind of feel like that maybe at certain times with this team that was missing? Um, I think. Um, no, it was a really up and down year. I think there was good moments, bad moments, but um, I think um, throughout all of that, we always stay together and we try to uh, figure it out together, you know, and um, that's just what we got to do. You know, there was no individually, nobody trying to figure it out by themselves, you know, so um, yeah, I feel like, you know, we built really good chemistry this year and uh, we got to build on that. Um, it was probably, I'll probably say DJ, um, you know, just because the way he plays, the way he competes, you know, he's super competitive. And, um, you know, if we were up 20 or down 20, you know, it was always the same. Just keep working and, uh, you know, try to figure it out as a team. What, what was the moment that it kind of, things started really clicking for you this year? Was it in College Park? Was it after you started getting some consistent minutes in Atlanta? What was that moment? Um, like? Yeah, I mean, I was definitely rusty for the first couple of games, uh, even with uh, with the Skyhawks and then with the Hawks. But after a couple of games, you're gonna game after game, just got more and more comfortable. And uh, I feel like the guys always, uh, got also more comfortable playing with me, and um, it just started clicking. And um, you know, I think we sh- we we showed everybody that you know when we play together like that, we can we can beat anybody. You know, that that winning streak we kind of had, um, you know, it, it was a, that was a tough stretch. And, um, you know, we showed that we can play against anybody. What do you feel like you learned from being on the court and playing minutes in games that mattered? Yeah, I think it was just um, just uh, being more comfortable out there. You know, like I haven't in the last couple of years, I haven't played a lot of games just because of either my injuries or I just uh, didn't play a lot. And, um, you know, so for me, it was just getting more and more and more comfortable. And um, like I said, each and every game, I felt better and better um, and more comfortable. You know, I was not, I wouldn't say nervous, but you know, just more comfortable out there on the course. So um, that was the main part for me. And um, uh, Skyhawks really helped with that too. You know, just, I had an opportunity to play with the ball more there. I was, you know, playing point guard. So um, that really helped me to get more comfortable and, um, you know, kind of slowed down the, the game a little bit. You know, when I first, started playing again, everything was really fast and, you know, I had to get, you know, you got to make a lot of quick decisions. So if you don't play for a long time, you know, it kind of gets difficult. So it was just about getting more comfortable. Is it also sort of about, you know, you're going to get your minutes regardless, whether you play well or play not as well and you don't have to worry about, oh, I have to have a really good four minutes here if I, I want to play tomorrow? Yeah, well, um, you know, like I said, again, it started with the with the Scots where they gave me a lot of confidence, you know, where, um, they said to me, like, you know, it doesn't matter if you make mistakes. We keep wanna, want you to play with the ball and make make decisions, and uh, that really helped me, you know, get more comfortable with that. And once I once I got to the Hogs, obviously, 
Um, you know, I wasn't playing that much with the ball, but I was still making like, for me, it was just making the right decisions because, um, you know, you don't, it wasn't that many decisions. So every decision that I made with the Hawks it had to be a good one, you know. Um, so, um, like I said, both of, both, of it, both of it just really helped me, um, you know, slow down the game and um, make the right decisions. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take off for a couple of days now, and I'm starting uh, next week. I'm going to start again, just working out. My first uh, my first part is of the offseason is just going to be probably work on my body, just get my body right, you know, get stronger, get a little bigger um, and uh, and faster. So that's going to be my first part of the summer. And then in the second, we don't we don't really have anything with the national team this year, which is for the first time. But we have some um, some like camps and pr um, friendly games, so I'll probably do that just to kind of get back in the rhythm and just play some basketball again. And, and it's going to be like right in a half in a, in a summer. All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you.